So in, in this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to download, where you're going to download Open Bullet and how we're going to extract it, set it up, or run it. Okay. First of all, what you want to do, you want to go to your browser and you're to just, uh, all you want is click the first link. All right. So you get something like this. Now, at your right hand side, you're going to see a re uh, releases. This is all the releases. And here you're going to see a latest. All you want is click this, which is on the latest. And this is an open bullet. This is an actual software open bullet. And it's uh, 11.8 megabytes. All right. All you want is to click this and whatever, wherever it, it's going to be saved. Okay. Let's say I'm save it onto my desktop. All right. Okay, next thing what you want to do here is on the desktop, you want to right click, win a car, and you want to extract to open bullet. Alright, so this will automatically create a new folder as open bullet. Alright, then all you want to do is double click this. Uh, here you can rename this afterwards. This, uh, you want to double click this release folder. And here at the first time, if you're opening this for the first time, all right, make sure like you have .NET Framework 4.7. All, right, all you have is double click this. All right, and give it a few seconds. You're going to see a pop-up like this, this. Settings file not found, generating a new one. Okay, just click OK. And right here, another thing. Okay, and once you click it, this thing's going to appear. All right, it's going to open. Open Bullet 1.2.2. As you see, here's the version. If you put your app out, you can read all of it. I right, here we have runner, proxies, word list, configs, hits, database, tools, plugins, settings. Here in settings, you can, uh, see the first, the library. You can see the open bread main purpose settings. You can adjust like the log buffer size. You can give your actual default author the name. You can disable, uh, control C and control V. Let's say if I want to quit, it's going to prompt me. Okay. Confirmation. Are you sure you want to quit? All right. So here I can click disable warning on quit. Disable warning on config not save. So this one, you're not allow live config editing. When you add your config in this folder, then go to, uh, go back to open blip, click rescan. I here you can click new config. You can, let's say, example. Press enter. Here you can create config. You can add the request. Request function. We have function. We have, these are calls blocks. Okay. Here, as you see, since for example, we, we have method get, head, delete, post, put, option, batch, trace. And right here we have the, We've got the read response to redirect, accept, and code content. We can set security protocol according to the website, whether it's SL, TLS. I, here we have basic off, uh, use, using username and password. Or right here we have uh, multipart, which is uh, use yeah, boundary, string boundary, and we have raw data as well. So, uh, most config uses standard and some of them use multiport, but if you would like to use basic, basic auth, uh, it will just convert the config into a uh, base64. Here we have some utility. So, here we have file, append lines. Here you can save it or whatever. Here you want to include use and pass. I like this. You user and then pass. Like that. So it's going to save the email and password. Okay. So as you see, we have different options like the list, join, concat, sort, zip, map, add, shuffle, random, remove the duplicates, uh, remove values. You'll have variables, split. 
file. We've got folder, create this folder, whatever. We've got a lot of stuff. We even got a boss. Okay, this this thing is most interesting. This is a boss block, so it's gonna uh, take this capture. Of course, it's gonna capture. If you don't take it, it's not gonna capture. Here, you can choose recursive. You can do CSS, JSON, regex, as per the website recommendation. But most of the configs, guys, I prefer left and right or JSON. Okay, and, and J token as well, and some. Some complex kind of, uh, some complex. You can use, uh, CSS like, uh, in the attribute you wanna use outer HTML or inner HTML, inner HTML, outer HTML. Here as for regex, you can use, uh, regex as well. There we have soft capture. So I'm going to do other video, especially about that. Here we have a capture version two, text capture, email, image capture, fun capture. All right. Fun capture uses like a website like social club. Yeah, that's right. Rockstar social club gives us fun capture. Then we have edge capture, most, uh, stripe, config, most stripe. Okay, is a payment gateway of Stripe. They use Edge Capture. Uh, they have implemented Edge Capture. Google uses a uh, Recapture version 2 or Recapture version 3. And then we have Key Capture. We have Gites. And lastly, we have Cap. Okay, so I'm going to do another video on that. Uh, here we have a Report Capture as well. So that's very good. Uh, unfortunately, right here, we don't have OCR. Now we don't have OCR on this. Yeah, right here, we have bypass, CF bypass Cloudflare. Okay, Cloudflare. Right, if Cloudflare chain needs a recapture to resolve the block here, you can use auto redirect. You can choose TLS one, two, SSL, whatever. Here we have TCP as well. So if you want to set a command, so if you have like a VPS, RDP, whatever, you can set the host, like the address and the port. You can connect, disconnect, send data. All right. And lastly, we have na uh, navigate. So this thing is for Selenium. It is used mainly for Selenium browser action, like to open, close, quit, send keys, screenshot. A lot of, a lot of good st stuff. And here we have element action as well. Same as, save, you can use ID class name, selector, X path. Uh, so these, uh, these, these one, two, three is uh, mostly used for creating Selenium configs. Lastly, we have, uh, execute JavaScript. Okay. Here you can use the basics, JavaScript, and code. All right. So input, well, uh, here, if I switch to Lali script, ah, uh, here, as you see, how it is. Now, if I click documentation, here in general info, you can see what is Lali script, LS, what, when to use it, when you need a powerful tool. To build a config, you want to do something faster and easier at debug at a glance. Okay, you don't want to deal with clicking on, alright, just clicking on dense block of big configs. I flow control, we have if and else and while. Okay, we have jump. Alright, so if you have a jump, you are label it, begin script, end script, just for uh, JavaScript and Iron Python. So we up here, here, and right here we have a word list. Well, all you want is click add, select a word list, click this button. It's gonna, uh, you're gonna select your word list, you can load, you can choose default email credential, numeric, and whatever, proxies, same as for proxies, click import, import your IP port proxies, or, uh, whether it's a data center proxies, or residential, Proxies, we have SSL proxies, we have many type of proxies rotating. They use an, uh, username and password and usually with a country. 
as well. You can check Pope Caesar as well, guys. You can use different website. You can click this to add. Let's see, you know, see, whatever you can, whatever website like Yahoo, Bing, whatever. All you have is paste it on here. Uh, increase the bots like use to check and click check. Here you can see the total statistics, uh, will be for the proxies. Which proxies are working and non-working? Uh, you gonna it's gonna classify them into HTTP, SOX4, SOX5, 